Hey, what's up guys? It's Codebra from codingwithcodebra.com. And today we're gonna to go over table view headers and footers. So if you take a look at this project, what we have here, up here, this Pepe helicopter. Now that is the table view header. And if we come down here, this add uh, button, add to do button, that is the table view footer. Now you also have section headers and footers. So this right here where it says first section and second section, that's the section header. So we're not gonna go over that. We're just gonna go over this header up here and this footer down here. Now I have this starting out project. I'm gonna run it and you can get this in the description below. I just didn't wanna run over making a table view, but pretty basically we have a table view programmatically. We have a uh, just a array of strings, which we're just displaying. Um, and that's about it. In here in our assets, I have the Pepe spaghetti picture. <laughs> and we're gonna use that for the header. So I'm gonna go over a header with an image and a footer with a button. Okay, so if we go into our view controller and in view to load, if we take a look, we can say self.tableView and we can say table view header, or what is it? Hold up. Okay, so it's self.tableView.table header view. So this is the property that we need to set. And if you take a look here, it is a UI view. Now the section headers, those ones are actual cells, but this is a UI view. So in our project, let's make a new file. Uh, we'll make it a Cocoa Touch class. We want a UI view and we'll say um, table view header. I misspelled that, but whatever. So it's pretty simple. We just have to set up this UI view how we like it. So I'm just gonna make an image view and I'll have a scale aspect fit for the content mode. The image we're gonna use UI image named and our image name is one in our um, assets folder here. So not system name, just named. Okay, so we can change the tank color to label. Not that it matters here. That would matter with system SF symbols. But let's uh, override the initializer function, which is the one with the frame. We need to say super dot init frame. And then we can set up in here, we'll just uh, add our image view. So we're gonna say self .add image add sub view, pass in the image view. Now this is complaining, it wants the required init. So fix that and it will go away. We're gonna say image view dot translates auto resize and mask into constraints equals false. Now we want to do NS layout constraint. I have an auto thingy for this. So we just want a few anchors. We're gonna put it center X and center Y into this view. So those two, and then also we're just gonna have a height anchor. So you can just copy what I'm doing. Our height anchor is gonna be 200 and that should be good. Um, and it's just self dot center X and Y. Okay. So now that our view is created, we can just go back in our view controller and we are just going to create that object. So we're gonna say, let table header view equals table header, um, table view header. Now this is where we have to set the frame for it. So you have to do this. Um, we want CG rect with X, Y uh, width and height. So your X and Y are just going to be zero and zero. Your width is gonna be self.view.frame.width or frame.size.width. I think both work. And then our height, let's just make it 200. 
We're then going to set that self.table view dot table header view equal to that object we created. And that should be enough. Now I do have something you might want to add in. I don't exactly remember why I did this, but um, in another app that I made, I had to do this for the constraints to work properly. So we're setting this uh, section header top padding to zero. You may or may not need that. Might just want to write it down just so you have it for the future if something goes wrong. But there we go. If we run our app, we now have our table view header. Oops. So we can make this like 250 to give it some extra spacing. And there we go. We have Pepe spilling his spaghetti. <laughs> so we are going to do something quickly uh, for the footer. Let's make another one, another uh, Cocoa Touch file. I'm going to call it table view footer. Now I'm just going to copy the table view header and paste it in. Um, hmm. Okay. Now all of this is much the same. I'm just going to paste this in because you probably know how to do this by now. But I'm just going to make a button and I'm just going to show you how to pass data back from here. So there's multiple ways. Now, so if we, let's just go back into view controller. I'm just going to paste the code in a view model or view controller. You're going to want to set that footer onto the table view like this. And if we run that, we should have our button. Okay. So we have our button. Now, this probably is not best practice whatsoever, but one easy way to pass data back or pass the button click back is literally on this table view footer, we can just say dot button dot add target for target is self action is hashtag selector did tap button uh, for dot touch up inside. So we're going to copy that did tap button. We're going to say at objective C uh, funk did tap button should probably be private. Private objective C funk or is it objective C private funk? Okay, and I'm just going to copy and paste some code in. Um, so as you can see here, we just generate a random number. We're going to add this. Um, um, Okay, so we could do it like this. This really isn't a great way to do this, so I'm gonna show you another way. But if we scroll down and press our button, if this won't lag, like there you go. Oh, and I meant to make that random from like 25 or something. Anyways, um, so let's just copy this, all of this selector, and let's go do that in our footer class. So delete that in the view controller. Let's go into the footer and let's paste it. So same kind of thing. Um, let's say self dot button. Okay, so I'm kind of brain dead um, right now. So I'm not really gonna explain the callback, but I have a video coming out on that. We're gonna say var on button clicked colon, we're going to do two parentheses, and we can do a arrow um, void question mark. So what we're going to do in here, oops. so we made our callback, and now we need to call that in the selector. So we're going to say self dot on button clicked question mark. Um, parenthesis or parenthesis yeah so back in our view controller we need to write the code for when this callback is called so in view controller uh view did load we're going to say table view footer i cannot type to save my life table view footer dot on button clicked 
equals curly braces. We're going to do weak self. In. And then we can write our code here. So same code. We're just doing it a little bit cleaner. Now, this needs to be optional now, I believe. Okay, so if we run that, it'll let us press our button and add table view cells. So if we scroll down, add to do, and it works. So that's how to make a table view header and footer. Um, maybe not the best examples, but still. Um, also, in our footer, this should probably be private. Either private, or wait, no, not button, not on click. This should be private set var, or you can probably just do a private what, but just good practice. Okay, guys, so if that helped out, then please subscribe. If, well, like, like the video if it helped out. If you want more Swift videos, please subscribe. If you have any questions, you can leave a comment. And besides that, uh, the code will be in the description. So besides that, thanks, peace.